Hey Taurus, welcome to your September spirit messages. I am Charlene Lizette. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibrational community. This may resonate with you if you have sun, moon rising in Taurus. I do need to give some gratitude and adoration to my deity, the Morgan, to whom this video is dedicated to and always in honor of, okay? These videos are a little bit different in that I channel messages directly for the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, okay? Um, sometimes I get information and you'll see me look to the side or my eyes will go different is what I like to call them. Um, and so, yeah, um, take what does resonate and leave what doesn't behind. I'm going to pull five cards from Rebecca Campbell's work with your light and then we'll top off with the tarot, okay? Five cards for Taurus, Sun, and Rising. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? The age of the light. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Trust the nickel. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? People always ask me, what does that mean? So the nickel is like this, like your intuition deep inside that like kind of warns you and advises you, okay? Not the fear, but it's like something that is it's very in, inside where like if you know somebody is not a good person, your niggle will kind of go off and be like, nee, alert, alert. Then you got priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Okay, they, honestly, I keep getting like these weird cards coming out everywhere. Okay, look at that. I'm going to do this, Taurus. Inner temple, devotion, tune into the portal of your heart. And then mirror core, what is triggering you is the overall energy. Sorry, I'm doing your videos at nighttime, so the lighting might be a little bit bad. Cool, thank you. Love to know that your car's amazing. Okay, let's get some tarot cards and we'll see. I haven't gotten anything clairaudiently, uh, nor claircognizant or clairsentient for you. Taurus, I just feel like they call me mellow yellow. Um, very tired, very... It, this is so interesting. Capricorn just had this too. It's like the month of September based on the messages from your spirit um, guides and, and your spirit team is very much saying, look at that. Well, there you go. This is a time of restoration. Well, Taurus, you know what? This really resonates with your monthly general rate. So go watch that after. I'll hook up a link to it later. Um, this, um, if you want a private reading also, by the way, I have two offerings, a live offering and a pre-recorded offering. All the deeds are in the description box below. Okay. Um, take a look at this. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do with the three of wands? Okay. You are shifting in your monthly general reading. Um, Taurus, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Um, it talks about the fact that all this stuff is happening for you, not to you. And this is the energy I'm picking up here. You're moving forward, okay? You're progressing, Taurus. There is a plan in place now, okay? But there's still like the last little shake off of things that you need to release, okay? You gotta answer the call though. Ugh, I'm sorry, these videos, I'm doing them at night. You gotta answer the call, okay? And then you got the three of wands, okay? which is moving forward and also waiting for your ships to come in, observing where you're gonna go next. Notice how the imagery in both of them, look, this person is looking that way, okay? No more looking behind you and everything else that has transpired for you. This month, your divine team wants you to know that it's time for you to move forward, okay? Full speed ahead is what I just heard, okay? There's no looking back, there's no wishing, wanting, desiring, like, oh my God, I really wish this person could have joined me. None of that stuff, okay? Sometimes people can't join us because they're not meant to be on the path with us, okay? Then you got the age of the light. You've been training for this for lifetimes with judgment. I mean, is that any more redundant, right? Um, not in a bad way at all. This is very much just confirmation on confirmation, okay? This is something that has been part of your soul contract, okay? Um, messages from your spirit are telling me right now that as you have awoken, and I feel too that many of you have had like a bit of a rough spiritual awakening this year with everything that has transpired. And so when judgment, right, when the horn from Gabriel um, went ahead and, and 
played, is it? I don't want to call it played, yeah, sounded. Um, you, you knew that this was because it was, the, this is the visual, the visual I'm getting, okay? It was like when the spiritual awakening happened for you, that was when um, Gabriel's horn sounded, right? And it was almost like you just got like, like a big download that came in through your body and then shot right back up is the best way I can explain it to you. And then you were like, I know this, I know this, I know this is my pattern. I know this is what I'm supposed to do. I know this is the direction. I know this is my call forward. Okay, now let's do it, okay? And you did it because you listened, right? You trusted the nickel. You knew what was going inside, uh, inside of you, and you know that it was true that you needed to progress in this journey. And now you're you're moving forward, taking those steps, right? Continuously moving forward. But in September, right? You need to trust that you have because you are so kind and you are so loving. You have been trying to pull people along with you, Taurus, right? Let me help you. Come with me. You're so loving. You're so gentle. You're so sweet in so many ways. And so you've wanted all these people to come with you Taurus but in September spirit is saying you got to understand when it's time to let go okay not everyone is meant to come with you and there's a reason for that okay because not everyone is ready to ascend with you Taurus and yes it hurts and yes it's painful and yes it's sad and yes it's challenging okay but it is all part of the journey Taurus the journey to what well how you're being called to step up and lead the high priestess, or sorry, the priestess in this case, followed by the eight of wands, right? You're moving fast, baby cakes. You're moving fast and not everybody can come with you. It's impossible. Not everyone is meant to, okay? There's gonna be a lot of communication. Some of you might actually be physically traveling um, based on like whatever COVID rules exist where you're at right now, okay? But this is to me very much about you communication, manifesting. You've received that download and now that download is becoming very clear to you, okay? Very, very clear in the next steps that you're going to be taking in your life. And it feels very like empowering, empowering and very invigorating. I almost make, like blended the two in there. Um, and I also need to point out, can you notice this? I, sorry, I need to take a moment because like they're like, there's still a message in this card, you're missing it. Look how this woman has her hand. Hold on, let me see if I can get a little closer. Hi. Do you see how this woman has her hand? Look at the hands. When you are praying, when you are talking to the divine realm, when you are asking for guidance, for information, okay, really, really important for you to ask with your hands open, okay? Be open and ready to receive the information that comes down, okay? When you're manifesting, when you're praying, very much like an open hand situation, okay? Then the last card you got is Inner Temple Devotion. Tune into the portal of your heart and the sun. Come on. Two major arcanas. Taurus, this is going to be a big month for you, okay? Very, very big month, Taurus. There's things you don't know. Things that are going to be coming to light. Everything that you are uncertain of is going to be made very clear to you. There's not going to be any more doubting, any more questioning, any more uncertainty. You're going to know exactly what steps to take, who to talk to, who to leave behind. And you're not going to have that remorse anymore. We are here with you to guide you and to support you through this. The sun wants to shine, but the sun can only shine when you're ready to accept the call. So listen to the messages that you receive in your dreams. Listen to the synchronicities. Pay attention to the messages that we're sending you. Are you finding nickels? Are you finding dimes? Are you finding feathers? Particular birds chasing you? It's us. We're letting you know. We're with you, supporting you, guiding you, with you. This is what you came to earth to do, to help, to support the raising of the vibration. You are a light worker, and now it is time for you to step up and lead.
Yeah, it's really, uh, it's, it's really, it's really, really cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for you. Wow, Taurus, what a great, uh, great month in September. This is a lot about listening to your heart chakra, okay? Really moving forward from an energy of love and peace and happiness and unity. This is wonderful. I feel like although there might be some challenges, right? And you see that over in your monthly reading, especially with the Ten of Swords or in the moving forward and stuff. You end September with like a bang. Confidence up. Your solar plexus shine and bright. This is alignment, Taurus. And you've been working so hard for, for such a long time. All right. That's all I got for you for your spirit messages for September. If you're interested in a private reading, shoot me over an email or check out the different options in the description below. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please. And thank you. Comment below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for all of your support. I greatly appreciate it from my family to yours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you later, alligator. Bye.